Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be about eight different ways narcissistic people will make life difficult for you, why they choose to make life difficult for you and what you can potentially do about it. The best way to deal with narcissistic people is don't, it's to go no contact and leave them to it. However, through various reasons, this isn't always possible. When it comes to narcissistic people, one of the main ways they will complicate life for you, make life difficult for you, is by simply not answering a simple question or answering a simple question with a question or asking you a question and then responding to your answer with another question to leave you feeling frustrated, angry, confused, hurt, to potentially bait you into reacting towards them so that they can play the victim, you feel bad and give them sympathetic attention and try to make it up to them for the very fact that they won't just answer a simple question. Most narcissistic people will not answer a question because they feel like they're above you. They feel like they are superior. They feel like they are entitled to do as they please and they shouldn't have to answer to anybody. They also believe that people should serve them. People should look up to them. People should do for them with very little to no reward from them. However, they shouldn't have to do for you. And if they do have to do for you, then there should be some benefit in it for themselves. Those double standards. Narcissistic people are a incredibly hypocritical people. Now, in most relationships, we ask questions to gain answers, to gain a broader perspective. We are the ones that have to recognise that we are not going to get the answer from a narcissistic person. We are the ones that have to find a method to not approach them with a question and recognise that if, if they're doing something that goes against our values, that goes against our beliefs, then, then we need to separate our way from that person. If we can't communicate issues with them within a relationship, whether that's parents, friends, partners, siblings, children, if we can't communicate it with them in an appropriate manner, even if that means getting into an argument about it and then taking time to separate and figure things out and come together because you naturally care about each other, coming together to resolve an issue. If you can't come together to resolve an issue, that's because they're not interested in resolving issues. They're interested in creating issues and then leaving you to deal with it. So when dealing with people who are not interested in resolving issues, your best approach is to slowly distance yourself from their life because narcissistic people don't really like people walking out on them. And those who lack empathy, you do need to be careful around Number two, they covertly make life difficult for you by simply walking two steps or two metres ahead of you. They'll not just walk alongside you. And that goes with anything in life, with anything that you are doing. A narcissist is not looking to walk alongside you. They are looking to stay two steps ahead of you. And they will do this literally when you're out somewhere with them. They will literally walk a few bit steps in front of you and they might talk to complete strangers to impress complete strangers while ignoring you. They might run ahead and hide in a shop and watch you desperately look for them and then come out and call you stupid for losing them so that you're the one that feels bad. When it comes to a narcissistic person in life, they're not interested in seeing you do well. They're interested in sabotaging you so that they can feel better about their own insecurities. They criticise you to feel better about themselves. They're trying to stay two steps ahead of you in their mind games so that they can stay in control of your life. Because they're 
they're out of control of their own, they've got to control other people's. When it comes to careers, they're looking at sabotaging your career so that they can stay two steps ahead of you. They're looking at sabotaging your finances so that they can control you through your finances and stay two steps ahead of you because they feel superior, because they feel entitled and because they lack the empathy to care about you. And when it comes to people in life, if people aren't willing to walk with you, they are not the people who are for you. If they are willing to sabotage your dreams, sabotage your goal, or sabotage your aim, you're going to be left in a muddle. You're going to be left confused. You're going to be left angry. You're going to be left depressed. You're going to be left full of anxiety because you no longer know what you're aiming for within your life. And whenever you do aim for it, the person who claims to care about you so much is sabotaging it for you, which is an extremely confusing place to be. If people aren't going to be supportive of you, they are not the people for you. One way to work around this is by using that as leverage to prove to yourself that you can do something. When people are telling you that you're incapable, that you can't do something, that says more about their insecurities, about their capabilities, that they, the belief they hold within themselves. You can try and raise them up. However, no matter how much you raise a narcissistic person up, they're going to seek to pull you down. So when they're pulling you down, you can use that as leverage to prove to yourself that you can. Because you don't necessarily want to prove to a narcissistic person as they are incredibly envious, so they will seek to sabotage you. So try and give them very limited information about you and go and show yourself that you can do things. Three, changing plans on you at the very last minute, leaving little room for you to manoeuvre. A narcissist, again, likes to remain in control of their life and your life and one way they will do this is by changing the plans on you at last minute leaving you wondering what on earth you're doing leaving you confused leaving you stressed leaving you full of anxiety leaving you depressed always have a backup plan when dealing with narcissistic people expect them to let you down if at all possible avoid asking them in the first place and have a backup plan so that when they do change the plans on you, it doesn't negatively impact you. Always running late. Now, these are narcissistic behaviours. So without at least five of the nine criteria, you're not always dealing with a narcissistic person. Some people can like to walk two steps ahead. Some people can like to change plans. Some people do run late in life. It's who they are. And we have to accept those people for who they are and work out whether we can be around those people long term. When narcissistic people run late, they run late to sabotage you. They run late, they pull up and they expect you to be ready. And if you're not ready, even though they're the ones who are late, well, perhaps you are ready, but you're not quite out of the door quick enough to suit the narcissistic person, they will drive off without you. Narcissistic people will run late to disrupt your life, to make your life difficult. But it's that hypocriticalness to it because you will not be allowed to be late for them. They will punish you. There are people in the world that run late, but because they run late, they accept other people run late because they can relate. Narcissistic people don't relate because they're thinking about themselves and not you. And they will make you late for special occasions just to ruin the day. Run your own schedule in life. Work out how you're going to get yourself to places and stop relying on those people who are not there for you. They don't take responsibility. They don't take responsibility from the household chores to their own children. They don't take responsibility for their own behaviour. Narcissistic people are not looking to take responsibility. They're looking to pass responsibility. They're looking to blame and shame other people so that they don't have to take responsibility for themselves. And when they promise to do a chore for you, they will 
if you remind them about it and they begrudgingly do it, they will do it badly on purpose. And then when you ask them about this, they're going to pull on that sympathetic attention and say, I did my best. Oh, nothing's ever good enough for you, is it? No, I'm sorry, I forgot you were perfect. To make you feel bad for them not doing the job correctly and also to stop you from asking them to do something for you again. And in some aspects, this is when we have to learn to stop asking them. There are people who are going through challenging times where we might need to pick up the slack for them. And then when we're going through challenging times, they'll pick up the slack for us. And then they will, there are people that will put us in challenging times, not pick up the slack for us, but expect us to pick up the slack for them. When it comes to narcissistic people, we have to learn to stop going to them and start dealing with things for ourselves. However, we also need to learn to stop allowing them to come to us. I'm all for treat people how you would like to be treated, but at some point you have to treat people how they treat you. If someone's willing to fall silent on you, stop speaking to them, leave them to their silence, especially if you know you haven't done anything wrong. Stop analysing things. Very difficult, however, worth it. When people are unwilling to do something for you, yet expect you to do for them and then expect you to do it right for them. And then even when you do your best, criticise you. So you're the one that's left thinking, well, I did try my best. So you're the one that's left thinking that you're the narcissistic one. People causing those self-doubts within you are not the people for you. You don't go around trying to cause self-doubt within others. So don't accept people in your life that try and cause that self-doubt within you. Six, they will avoid at all costs in poor, in discussing important issues, whether that's from children's doctor's appointment to household bills to who's doing the gardens. Narcissistic people will avoid discussing these at all costs. They might throw the word salad at you. Now there's other conditions where people might use the word salad. However, they just throw out random words that make no sense with narcissistic people. Their word salad, the narcissistic word salad is to derail you, to change the subject on you. So you might be discussing some financial issues and they'll come out and say, well, what about that holiday that we were going to go on? You said you wanted to go on that holiday or that new car. Hey, do you know the neighbours? They've just gone and visited here. I've always wanted to go there. So that the topic of conversation doesn't get discussed and you're left feeling bewildered and frustrated and the more you try to bring it back to the original topic the more they're going to accuse you of causing an argument the more they're going to avoid answering that question when it comes to important issues do not rely on narcissistic people to try and help you through them because they will just hinder you while gaslighting you into believing you're helping them try and discuss an important issue with a narcissist and they're going to antagonise you, they're going to go all out to bait that reaction from you so that they can blame you, so that they can shame you, so that they can make you feel bad for bringing something up, apologise to them and make it up to them, not seeing what they're actually doing to you. Number seven, they create conflict, they create drama, they create absolute chaos. They do all they can to sabotage events by turning up late, by not answering a question, by changing plans on people at the last minute, by not taking responsibility for their own behaviour. They cause absolute chaos in other people's lives. They stir up drama between people. They triangulate people to divide and conquer people, to gain enablers and flying monkeys onto the narcissist side to gain people who they can use to abuse by proxy to get one over another person they they slander people's names to discredit people's characters so that the narcissist reputation is guarded because people are that busy questioning the victim and the narcissistic person gets away with their behavior 
The best way to avoid conflict, drama and chaos with a narcissist is to walk yourself right out of their life. But you can't do this, it needs to be limited contact and grey rock and don't listen to the gossipers, don't pay attention when a narcissist is coming to you saying so and so said this about you. Get yourself out of that situation as quickly as you possibly can. Eight, they create competition between people to play people off against each other so that people give the narcissist the attention and the adoration. A narcissist would rather impress a stranger than care for their own family. One of the main reasons is a stranger can't see through the narcissist's lies. Another reason is their charismatic charm can work better on a stranger than their own family. They are looking to impress somebody new to gain that attention, that adoration. And they are also looking to annoy you in the process, to antagonise you into feeling things such as jealousy or into questioning why you're not good enough, why they can't give you that attention. And when it comes to a narcissistic person, this is because they're seeking that excessive admiration and they prefer positive attention. However, if they can pull positive attention from one person and negative attention from another, the narcissist is in control of those dynamics and feels better about themselves. Number nine is they will withhold attention, affection and support to destroy your self-esteem, to destroy your self-worth. Narcissistic people bring you down and it's nothing to do with who you are as a person and it's everything to do with their own insecurities that they are unwilling to take responsibility for so they're going to go all out to project onto you. A narcissist on just accusations are often their very confessions of the things they're either doing to you or thinking about doing to you. When somebody is looking to withhold attention, affection and support from you, when someone is looking to impress a stranger rather than take care of those they claim to care and love about, we have to recognise that that is who they are as a person and that's not the kind of people that we want in our lives. So if they want to go off with that stranger, let them while we go and find genuine people that wouldn't do that kind of thing to us as we wouldn't do to them. When we're going through life, life is very challenging. Life is very hard at times. We need to find people that want to be supportive as we are them. We want to find people that want to help us through the challenging times as we want to help them. Those who are trying to sabotage you, those who are trying to hinder you, those who are trying to make life worse for you are the people that you need to start trying to avoid. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, then please do add those into the comments. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, then please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.